This is X Dark Ring 104X, aka Nemeshosh, Last of a Dying Breed. And uh, yeah, it's been a while, even though a while for me is probably about four or five days. It's been a while since I really put up a video. Be perfectly honest with you, I've been taking an extended break. Um, I explained to my league why I take an extended break. I'm not going to make it public. Might come back pretty soon, but uh, I've been on Call of Duty a little hard lately. So I think I'm going to see that through. Me and Lucille actually going through and seeing what losing is like. Because uh, in DCUO, that doesn't come very often. Did y'all villains know? Y'all villains know. Anyway, a couple days ago, uh, one of the people's one of the people's fans actually put a comment in one of my videos asking why is there so many black people in DCUO this is a great topic to segue into some of my uh, political aspects see what a lot of people in my YouTube channel don't know about me is that I'm very big into politics in real life and I'm also extremely big into politics when it comes to gaming it's one of my favorite subjects and something I wanted to talk a little bit more um, when I first made the YouTube channel however I kinda got big into DC well and that kinda took over but we can start you know a lot more of the politics and gaming conversations as well as other conversations not even involving gaming just depending so Let's open up the forum. Personally, I think there's a lot more uh, black people that play DCUO as opposed to any other MMORPG because of uh, two reasons. One, it's a console game. Uh, I think a lot of African Americans, you know, a lot easily get into console gaming over PC. Now, these are broad, general. Um, broad generalizations so it, it, I don't have hard evidence to support this yet maybe I can do a little bit more research on that but from my perspective actually playing also Final Fantasy 11 for uh, six to eight years um, I believe that more African Americans actually get on a console more than a PC type deal uh, because of the cost because of the availability um, a lot of it, let's be real we don't have a lot of uh, revenue to be throwing around on the PC so it's a lot easier for us to get on a console start playing a game that way now the next part is basically it's DC DC well it's the comic book world has a more present to future aspect to it versus say most MMOs I would say have a more fantasy aspect you didn't have any black people in uh, in Tolkien's Tolkien's world you know uh, with the hobbits and the so on and so forth there's not very much African American uh, representation in that so you tend to want to play a game where you see yourself represented women want to gravitate towards games that are uh, that they can relate to you know they can they'll have a hair hair on hair heroine whatever they'll have a, a female protagonist that you know they can latch on to and they can feel like that it's them you know um there's a lot of games that don't speak to women as much as you know speaking to the uh, Caucasian 18 to 34 year old male so then you have DCUO which you do have representation you can make a black superhero and he can still be viable um, and again you know there wasn't very many black people slaying dragons you don't see that very often um, I'm harking to the first time I played D&D &D where I made a character that was an elf but he also looked like me he was a black guy and you know through his twisted mind he made it look like that you know the the townspeople never seen a black elf before thought it was a drow and my first encounter I started off being hanged and that was my introduction to to, to nerd gaming in DC well I didn't have that happen you know you have a black superhero it's par for the course you know there's there's plenty of black representation when it comes to superheroes one of the most powerful superheroes and probably my favorite superhero over Superman and Captain America is Spawn. 
um, Al Simmons is amazing and be perfectly honest with you his character is completely fucking broken um, I just watched the death battle between Spawn and Kratos and I'm not gonna spoil it I want y'all to watch it it's on uh, Screw Attack's channel shouts out to Screw Attack they doing what it do even though they need to come out with that goddamn death battle between Superman and Goku I'd love to see who, who wins out of that but I digress to the video so like I was saying um having a black character and say you know uh Final Fantasy which you hardly at all have any black representation I mean you look at Final Fantasy 11 and you have one type of character that isn't Galka which all of the Galkas look like Bob Sapp you have one type of character that could pass for a black guy maybe but also pass for Indian or Hawaiian so you don't really have that but you can make a character like that in DC well easily with no problem and what black person didn't grow up you know watching the Superman cartoons watching the Superman movies wanting to be Superman you know there's there's hip-hop songs one that that comes to my head and in, initially is black Superman forgot who sung that but it was a great song I listened to it myself and you know I've always said I want to make a black Superman if given the chance of you know being a superhero and that's kind of what I made in DC well no he's not you know a little boy scout but imagine if Kal-El had a little bit of darker skin and landed in the hood instead of landing in Smallville you know how would he react how would he how would he view the world versus how Clark Clint, Clark Kent views the world now so that's my explanation of why I think there's a lot of black folks that play DC well again console gaming you know they're coming from Call of Duty they're coming from Madden coming from NBA 2K it, the, the black gaming world is not necessarily the same as the regular or the Caucasian gaming world now again is a, a, a video discussing race you know I'm not a, a racial expert you know I did go to school for sociology so I feel I have a little bit of background in it and uh, I don't want to, you know, d d f fray anyone's feelings as far as that's concerned. I can only give the perspective from a black man, a black gamer that's been playing games since he was small. And as far as it's concerned, this is why I think that there's a lot more black people that will gravitate towards DCUO versus gravitating towards any other MMO RPG that's out there. Sure, there is people that played uh, black people that played Final Fantasy XI. I was one of them, and I've met a good amount. There was a uh, there's obviously black people that play WoW. You know, a lot of black people I knew that was in gaming cut their teeth on World of Warcraft. But overall, black culture don't really get into MMOs. The DCUO MMO seemed more or less uh, African American friendly. So that's why I think we play DCUO. Now, the question I have for y'all is uh, what do y'all think about the subject? And why do you think that a lot more black people play DCUO than any other MMORPG? Now, I'm going to have a whole bunch of racial comments. I already know it's the internet, and a lot of racists are happy to have that glass shield between, you know, <laughs> people that will cut their heads off and themselves so just go ahead and leave a comment you know what I'm saying I'll try to ignore all the racial nonsense but it is what it is jump in with your uh, with your opinions I'd love to hear them this is Nimbus Shosh aka X Darkwing 104X Glass of a Dying Breed Happy New Year's to y'all glad y'all can make it and uh, y'all have a good one Percy